breaking news, guys. Nigerians in shock as the APIS Igbo Social Cultural Organization, organizing the Igbo, react to the, the terrorist watch list of Nigerian government that includes some Southeasterners in their list. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, the APIS Igbo Social Cultural Organization, organizing the Igbo on Sunday, backed the enlistment of self-acclaimed Biafra agitator Simon Ekpa and others on a terror watch list by the military. Organizers said Ekpa's refusal to tour the part of former Niger Delta militant like Asari Dukubo, Ateke Tom, Tom Polo, and Yoruba activists like Ghani Adams and Sunday Ibuwu who defended their land without resorting to internal violence is a matter of concern. No fewer than 97 persons have been declared wanted by the defense headquarters following the deteriorating security situation across the nation. The defense headquarters, DHQ, had declared Simon Ekba alongside 96 others wanted for terrorism and banditry in Nigeria. The DHQ placed Simon Ekba Allah alongside one terrorist killer known as Gento, also militant and bandit leaders on the watch list. Riati, the functional secretary general of organizing Dibu, Okechiku Isiaguzoro, the stance organized from violence and criminality in the southeast. In his statements he issued, Isia Guzoro affirmed that the Igbo leaders, the Igbo leadership, unwavery commitment to advocating for non-violent means of pursuing self-determination is accordance with international standards. According to Isia Guzoro, we echo the sentiment expressed by the detained IPOB leader, Mazi Namdikano, emphasizing that criminal acts cannot go unpunished. Criminal elements portraying themselves as Biafra agitators have tarnished the genuine struggle for personal gain, leading to violence and economic destruction in the Southeast region. The Finland-based self-proclaimed Biafra agitator Simon Ekba has caused imminent uh, a harm with the apparent joy in the suffering of others, inciting hate and stirring unrest. We question whether Ekba's actions serve the interests of external adversaries or are driven by self, uh, selfish motives. Organizing Digbo also has constantly urged all BFR agitators to refrain from resorting to armed struggles and violence, emphasizing the need for peaceful method. We have warned those seeking to exploit the Biafra cause for profit of the inevitable consequences their actions will bring. The refusal of individuals like Simon Ekba to follow the part of the former Niger Delta militant warlords like Asari Dokubo, Ateke Tom, and government Tom Polo, and Yoruba activists like Ghani Adams and Sodibu, who defended their land without resorting to internal violence, is a matter of concern. So the decision of the decision by the defense headquarters to label Simon Ekba and others as terrorists serves as a signal for them to address their issue through legal channels. Organize in the will distance itself from violence and urges all involved to shun, to shun such activities. Creating a peaceful environment is essential for constructive dialogue, including efforts to secure the release of Nam De Kano. Engaging in violent acts only impedes the resolution of key issues affecting our region, he said. 
Meanwhile, in another news headline, in response to uh, Simon Epa's inclusion on the list of um, terrorists in Nigeria, okay, by the defense headquarters, the Biafra agitator Simon Ekba on Sunday said his Biafra faction has declared President Bola Tinubu alongside all southeastern lawmakers wanted. However, in what has remained a, a puzzle, Ekba said all southeast senators and House of Representatives members are declared wanted, except Chief Chinyelugo Imo. The Biafra agitator said the aforementioned names are wanted for terrorism in the southeast. He went ahead to order his fighters to arrest the president alongside others on his list. In his words, the Biafra government will not challenge the declaration of the prime minister of Biafra, Simon Ekba, wanted by the Nigerian terrorist Nigerian army in any Nigerian court. There is no court of competent jurisdiction of the Biafra government to challenge such frivolous declaration. We are not part of Nigeria by all ramifications and therefore we will not validate any of their nonsense in any Nigerian court. So the declaration of Simon Ekman wanted by the Nigerian terrorist organ, uh, organ called Nigerian Army is dead on arrival like Dodo. I call on Biafra defense forces to intensify their defense against Nigerian state terrorism in Biafra land. Meanwhile, the IPOP Nigeria is set to challenge their own in their Nigerian courts. A good luck to them. The Biafra government hereby declares the following terrorist and sponsor of terrorism as a personal non a gruta in Biafra territory on the declaration and beyond, he said. Ikba gave the names on his list as Hope Uzodima of Imo State, Governor, Governor Soludo of Anambra State, Governor Mba of Enugu State, all service chiefs, President Tinubu, all Southeast Senators, and House of Representative members, except Chief uh, Chil. Chinyelugo Imo, all GOCs of Nigerian within Biafra territory, all CPS within Biafra territory, and of the vice president. He added the above sponsors of terrorism, ethnic cleansing, a killing and wanton destruction of lives and properties of Biafra must be arrested anywhere you see them within Biafra territory. More details. Names of the sponsors of terrorism in Nigeria or in Biafra land and their uh, compliances will be released soon. <laughs> they say, Well, I'll be like bicycle, you know, they finish. Nigerians, so now don't hear and so I better make a drop off for you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you.